Dan Olds here. One of the things that I've been looking at and thinking about as we go into uh, the enterprise space with GPUs and things like that is the idea that it needs to be a shared resource. And who do I find but Kyle at Next.io, and they're looking at doing that. Let's Say see. hi, Kyle. Hi, folks. Uh, at Next.io, uh, we basically separate compute from I.O. And when you disaggregate your I.O. from your compute node, you have a great deal of flexibility in your data center, whether it be routing multiple servers to a single I.O. I.O. device, or dynamically allocating a resource like a GPU or, or, or other type of fabric connection, uh, gives you dynamic configurability in the data center. So escaping that, the model that we have now where single GPU is attached to a single server or you know multiple GPUs attached to a single server. We call that islands of computing. Islands of computing. Yeah. And thus the <laughs> fake. Oh, thus the theme, yes. Oh, there you go. So, and boy, that just brings it home. Doesn't it? Amazing. The idea being you take a resource like a GPU, remarkably powerful, can do so yeah. much for your business, but you put it in a single server yeah. and it's stuck there. Yep. And unless that server's running at, at maximum utilization all the time, it's, you're, yeah. you're not getting the efficient utilization of that resource. That's the thing, it's in, yes. a, particularly in enterprise, Absolutely. you've got to be able to, to have common, a lot of things hitting it. Yes, so our, our platform gives you the flexibility to dynamically reconfigure resources like GPUs on the on fly, the fly okay. programmatically based on based on your the requirements of a given job or, or cluster. Or the business need, whatever sure, we've got. Absolutely. And this is your interface, right? This is a this is an early version of our web interface for this product. We're looking to launch it in the middle of this coming year. Uh, but this is uh, I don't know if you can see the mouse in your uh, yeah, kind of there, yes, kind of no. We've got we've got servers across the top, uh -huh. pooled resources across the bottom, and some status information and details. Okay. Um, but the, what this what this is basically showing is the GPUs I've got in the back of this box, and how they're currently allocated to different uh, to the different servers. In this particular rack. Okay, so if we drill down into that server, what's it have in it? So uh, that's down here at the bottom. This particular server is connected to slot one. And okay. You can see some of the, the link widths, the speeds, the transfer rates, and I can see the I/O devices that are over here on the lower right that are specifically connected uh, to this particular server. Okay. Now, what we can do with this uh, here in the front uh, is yeah. actually is actually a piece of CUDA code. If you're familiar with the SDK, you, under, you know this fluid dynamic simulation. Uh -huh. And it's actually running code. It's one of these servers we just saw. And you can see here that there's two, two uh, GPUs, a Tesla and a Quadro FX, uh -huh. that are part of the PCI Express bus here. If we look back up at the web interface, okay. what I'm going to do real quick is drag and drop ooh, uh, only one. Uh -huh. So what'd you just do? You dragged and dropped? Well, you'll have to forgive me, I forgot to refresh the GUI, so I got a little session mismatch here. Okay, well don't worry about it. So what you what you would do is what, drag and drop? Yeah, so what I one do of is the I drag one of the resources out, okay. and it hot remove it from the PCI Express bus. Okay. So it's send a PCI Express. But a logical event. remove. A logical remove. We're not recabling anything. We're not doing any of that. And that's the point, right? That's and, the key. And, and a data center today, if you want to reconsider your reconfigure your GPU, you need to take a server down, take it out of service, yep. crack the lid, pull a physical hardware device. Impractical. You're never going to do that. But when you have the I/O disaggregated from the compute node, and you have it in a consolidation appliance, then you can do those things logically. And that's, exactly. That's the, it's, that's a, it's a virtualization play, really. It, it, so absolutely. It yeah. Some people say, oh, it's not virtualization because you're not sharing, but uh, I say it's, pooling is virtualization. But this is the first step to getting there. Absolutely. That's the thing, and this is an evolution. Absolutely. It gives I mean, you the ability to share a resource that would otherwise be dedicated. Yes. An island all by itself. And Adele is getting there, and that's the other thing I've seen that's along those lines. They've got a big uh, server. It's got a bunch of GPUs in it. You're talking it does about have the some C410X. limited, yeah, it does have some limited sharing that Great you can platform. do. Absolutely, it, 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 its reconfiguration uh, is, is slightly more limited than, than what our platform yeah. provides because it doesn't have the support for PCI Express hot plug. Yeah, but uh, but you can choose how many GPUs you want on a given server and reboot it, and you've got it. But so what's the what's the um, Limit on those. So we've got what eight, eight different systems can come into a single. Actually, our our V Core Flex platform yeah. can support up to twenty four servers, up to 24. and okay. up to sixteen GPUs. 
So, so mixing and matching 24 and 16 of whatever, because like you said before, it could be SSDs. Uh, oh, absolutely. It could be SSDs, whatever. Ethernet, fiber channel, any, uh, any type of I.O. technology that's PCI Express based. Okay. So the, uh, we're attaching PCI Express 24 yes. into 16 and other devices. That's exactly right. And yeah. switching on the fly with this thing, well, uh, with that interface. The interface is uh, is almost secondary because it sits on top of a very robust API. Okay. So uh, what I do with a drag and drop in my GUI or uh, a command on my CLI, you can do inside your application by calling to our, the API in our appliance. So that's what somebody would typically do. Absolutely. Okay, so yes. it's training wheels. In fact, that. we have customers right now that are doing that in a, in a way in, in, the, in the HPC space. They're using Moab to schedule the hardware resources to the node that they're sending a job to. Okay. So uh, it's, it's, it's in practice right now in concept. And uh, when we release this product later in the year, it's gonna be live, hot reconfigurability in the data center. Very cool. Well, good stuff. Thank you. My pleasure. And uh, we'll keep an eye on you and see how it goes. Are you going to be at uh, Supercomputing? Absolutely, we'll be at Supercomputing. Okay, good. Right, we're gonna you bring in the Iowans there. theme? Uh, you know... Ukuleles? <laughs> we may. We may have really? something entirely new to show at Supercomputing. Okay, excellent. Something else well, for... Let's call that solid. a teaser. Okay, yeah. Well, people will be on the edge of their seat waiting for that. <laughs> sure it's only till the middle of November. <laughs> Wow. Thank you very much, My Kyle. Pleasure. Have a good trip back. Bye-bye. So, Kyle, yes. you're going to look at one word, perhaps a new word, that you just heard mm -hmm. to describe what we're seeing here and what you're bringing. What would that be? Dan, I'd have to good. say completely unprompted that it's right. GPU-rific. There you go. See, it's catching on. And what would you say? I know, yes, yes. Definitely yes, GPU-rific. Yes.